I just spent the past few hours making a new shop in Roblox Island. So in this video, I'll be showing how you can make the new shop that I made and explain how I made it. So this will take way less time for you because I had to destroy my entire old shop before making this. So starting from the bottom, this shop has a pyramid base and then stairs. You could build this with or without the pyramid base. I just think it makes it look a little nicer. And then there are also stairs. But under the stairs, I didn't put any grass blocks. Actually, I removed them after because I'm trying to use the least amount of blocks that I possibly can. Because as you all know, I'm pretty close to the block limit. So I already had this before, except my shop was just a stone house and it didn't look that nice. And now, this is what my shop looks like. So I have two levels of vending machines. If you want to make this bigger, then you can by just adding what I did with the second level, but one more level above that, and you can keep doing that over and over again. And ignore this block right here, it's glitched, I can't mine it. Whenever I rejoin, it's probably going to be fixed. And you can also make it so that there are multiple rooms, like if I remove this vending machine right here, and then I just made another room with the exact same design as this shop, you can basically keep adding and removing whatever you want from this. But this is just the basic version of the shop that I made. I tried to make it so that it was simple, but it looked nice. So, I originally had sand pillars, and this was a different material also, but I just changed it all so that it's iron blocks, because I think that looks way better. And also, there are two levels. Whenever you're building this, you really want to make sure that you make it so that you can put how many vending machines you want to, because if it's one block off, then you'd have to destroy all of the pillars on the side that you want to change, and the entire pyramid if you're building the pyramid base also. And then it would be very, very complicated, because then you'd after destroying that, you'd have to rebuild it all but just one block further. And I'll be telling you guys the exact number of blocks you want to build to make this work. So first off, the elevation is 7, so it goes up 7 blocks from here to here if you go to, from the ground to the store. So the pyramid is 7 blocks high, 44 blocks this way, and then 29 blocks this way for the very base of it, where it goes 1 block up right here. And the actual shop, including the entrance, pillars, and everything that is not the base of the pyramid, is 30 by 15 so 30 this way 15 that way and the height will depend on how many floors you want to make it but each floor is going to be four high because you have the three high for the vending machine and then the ceiling part and then each floor you can just keep adding on more and more and you can also do what i did with the gold where you have a gate in the front and then you can put gold on the corners and for an even cleaner look, you can replace the sand and the stone on the floor with more iron blocks. And you can also do whatever you want for here, but I just have wood planks. I might replace the maple planks with the regular wood planks and the sand and stone with iron blocks to make it look even better. For building the base and outline of it, especially with the pyramid, you want to use the exact blocks that I just said the exact amount or else it's going to be one block off and you're going to have an extra block in between the vending machine and the wall and it's not going to look too great. So if you're just building the shop it's going to be 30 by 15 and you want to use those exact measurements so that you can fit the exact amount of vending machines right here. If you want to you can try to add more yourself but make sure you do it where there isn't just an extra block or else you're going to have to redo that whole part of the shop. Also, I suggest whenever you're building it to be facing the same way so that whenever you place the blocks, then the wood actually goes the same way. But if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe with notifications on for daily islands videos, like the video, and join the Discord server and Roblox group links in the description for trading and talking about Roblox Islands.
Also, there's a glitch right now with vending machines that I lost about 1,500 washers and 500 food processors to, so I did a video on that, that will be linked in the description, but just watch out for that whenever you have vending machines in your shop with items in them. But as you can see, I did what I just said would make the shop look a lot better. I replaced the sand and the stone with just iron blocks, and there's also a glitched block right here that I can't destroy. But this does look kind of better. The only blocks in this shop are iron blocks, the wood blocks on the ground, and the gold blocks if you're not counting the pyramid thing and the stairs. But again, you don't need to use gold blocks, they're kinda hard to get if you don't have a lot of gold. I have a lot of gold so I can craft more if I want to, but I'm just keeping them for later. And also I think I only really need it to make this gate right here. But again, just gonna rotate my screen so that you all can see what my shop looks like if you want to try to recreate this. And also, you can make it so that it is one block closer like if you accidentally mess up when building and make it one block too short or one block too long then i have this middle pillar right here where if you want you can replace this with another vending machine but if you make it one block too short or one block too long then you can just make a middle pillar that's one block thick or like how i have it two blocks thick or even three if you want to, to have a middle pillar there. But since this design is simple, it is also flexible, so you can make a lot of changes to it if you want. If you want to build something really good and not just have levels of grass like I did over here with that chest storage wall, which I'm probably going to destroy and remake later, even though it's the most effective way to store things, kind of, then... You can make something like this with vending machines instead of just having levels of grass with vending machines and a ladder. And you can even use stairs and have a stairway on this side if you want to make it very big. And you can even have actual floors. You could fill in this part right here with more wood planks and make it so that there's another floor. And then instead of vending machines here, there's just like either a ladder or a stairway here. And you could make your shop as big as you want, and whenever they fix that vending machine glitch, then that will be very good, because if you are able to publish your island, you can literally just have your island published and AFK there, while people buy a whole bunch of stuff from your shop, and that would be very overpowered. And I just realized I forgot to change these two parts from sand and stone to iron blocks, so I'm gonna do that now. And for everyone wondering why my island is kind of bad, I built basically all of this within the first week of playing the game. So I was new to the game whenever I built literally all of this. Every now and then I've added new small things or slight changes, but this is the first time I've actually used my newer building skills and ideas to build something. And I didn't use that many blocks so that I could actually make a video about it and so that most people could probably build it. But there we go, this is my shop. I hope you all enjoyed the video and good luck building the shop. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think I could do to make this shop look even better because I did everything I could think of to make this look good but still keep it simple. But make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for daily islands videos, like the video, join the Discord server and Roblox group linked in the description for trading and talking about Roblox Islands, and follow me on Twitter at Telanthric, I'm trying to hit 1000 followers there, and I'm trying to hit 200k subscribers on YouTube, but I'll see you all in the next video, bye YouTube!